Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my perpetual torment of mediocrity, <clears throat> where I seem to average 17,000 points in GeoGuessr. This round probably won't be any different because we're in Russia. It even reminds me, when I was a kid, nope, this is clearly Polsky. When I was a kid, my dad, one of the super strict about um, grades and whatnot, hated the fact that if you got a C, it was the end of the world. And he would uh, let you know it. Can't say, well, also, there is the whole argument of it being the only thing that I grew up with. Of course, it was normal to me. But, you know, he, he was stern with grades and whatnot. He expected us to do well in school. And C's were unacceptable. Get very mad at the fact, but there there was this general trend that it that happened every time. I'm gonna get a road here. What are we what are we constructing here? <laughs> Let's just take a look at this. Trans Grandia Trasa whatever. It's Poland clearly, if you didn't know it. Fun fact this was actually what check like, what is Czechoslovakia now used back in the olden times? I don't know if you technically call them Bavaria. I think it was after Bavaria. But anyway, uh, Poland is now using the traditional colors of the traditional um, Czech army in medieval times. But my dad, again, whenever he would talk about grades, no C's. And whenever he would have an argument with you, or anything it could have been about grades or you know breaking rules as a child because that's what you do as a kid is you challenge your parents authority and then they actually have to um what is the word be like yeah you're gonna, you're not gonna come home at nine all right you're grounded you're grounded for an entire semester with no tv or anything of that nature but he would it would always follow the same routine not like Saying, like, dismissing, oh, of course every time this would happen. I have no idea where the hell this is in here. These are tiny towns. And just happenstance of coming across them, I don't think it's going to happen. Like, I got to probably zoom in quite a bit to see these, yeah. I'm going to put us, like, here. And it would always follow the same steps. He would get home. It was the typical wait till your father gets home type family where... Mom would have her chance to yell at you how bad you did in your grades. Or she, if she didn't feel like it, she'd always be like, Alright, we'll just have this discussion when your father gets home. Uh, I'm not going to find any information. It's just not going to say where we are here. So, just looking for a street sign if it happens to come across. And it's, it's not. So, I'll just have to accept that fact. Maybe here at the intersection. But, whenever it would come to time for... He would get home from work or paying out at the bar when you get off work he would have his turn to say what not and it usually would start the same thing you know I don't know how much of it was for theater I doubt it I'm probably being too cynical about it because he probably genuinely expected us to do good in school and he would uh sit there and be like start off quiet have the beady eyes it would stare at you and just be like all right why did you get a C? And then you explain it and whatever you do for an explanation, it usually ended up being laziness or he would view it as that and just tell you why you're being lazy. And it was like, I wasn't being lazy. And then it would start and you would yell, you know, argument stuff. I would never go past arguing because he didn't believe in that. Oh, Jesus, round ended. <laughs> oh, we were on the border with uh, Ukraine, huh? I would not have known that. And look, another 3,000. God fucking damn it. Um, what the hell is this? Is this the Rockies? And they, it would always follow the same thing of the build-up. Then it would be the yelling. And after yelling would stop and he'd tell you to go to your room, he would uh, inevitably come every like 30 to 45 minutes and just be like, you know, dis disappointment, he would say. And he had expected more out of us as his kids and knows that we were smart. And he would always, it would be the routine of that. And he would yell, 
tell him, sorry, I yelled. I didn't want to. It's just, I know that you guys are smart as kids and you guys can do better. You just actually have to uh, try. And then you go to bed, wake up, and if there was any punishments after that, you know, groundings or whatnot, that's that's when it would apply. Is this going to be Alaska because it said Chinook? I think that's what it's going to be. Maybe this bus has something on it. Something Western. All right. And that's kind of how... Follow the crow. I will not. That's just kind of how um, things with grades. Whenever I would hear other people, this snowmobile staging area. I am going to say that this is Alaska. Let's see how close I am to being right. I probably am not. I'm just looking for a road sign that'll help me. If I get close enough to this guy's license plate, I could probably could tell. And uh, now it's not, it's not that yellow that I know that Alaska uses. <clears throat> but then I talked to my other friends and they would always be like, I don't know why you're getting in so much trouble over grades. My parents never did that stuff. We did such and such, blah, blah, blah. This is Canada because that says kilometers is 100. So I am readjusting and it may be in British Columbia or the Yukon Territory yet. I don't know. Animals on the road. There are definite moose here. I'm looking for a highway sign. This is Alberta, the three west. There we go. How high are we going for the three? The one. Hello, three, anywhere? And I was always kind of jealous of my... Uh, Friends and they would talk about, oh, they can get away with a lot of stuff. And then at sometimes I wasn't either. I mean, it it's not Stockholm Syndrome, but I was just always being like, well, you can get away with all this stuff. I mean, I kind of, okay, here's the three. Three west. How far is the three going? Oh, it, it's in the mountains here. So I'm going to say we're closer to here because we got mountains, yo. It's definitely the Rockies. I don't know where yet. The three is a very long stretch of road, and I'm just hoping that there was water, I think, this way. And I would just always think that their parents are doing it wrong. Mine are doing it the right way, just because that's the only thing I knew. And Hey, or it, whatever their family did for Crow's Nest's past, Coleman West Access. Crow's Nest Heritage Route. Let's see if I can see a crow's nest thing anywhere here. Mount Thompson. Is that crow's nest? I'm not seeing it. I don't know how big of an area this is, but the three is very long, so I don't know if I'm going to see it. And I can't. you can't generally say that. I'm going to say it's like right here. I'll see how close I am. I can't generally say the way that your parents raised you was the way it worked, because everyone... Different things work for different people. And you can always say, like, okay, some people who would be influenced by their parents being heavy uh, alcohol alcoholics. Oh, Crow's Nest Pass right there. They can't say that, um, well, since my parents were an alcoholic, I'm destined to be one myself. Whereas other people, it could be, well, my parents are an alcoholic. I know exactly what not to be when I get older. This is America. I just don't know where yet. So when you kind of think about, all right, this is the best way to raise kids. You know, there, there is no set way. There is as many ways as there are people. What a pointlessly pointless statement I just said. But I mean, that's kind of why I don't. When when you see people on TV, they're like, "I know how to raise your kids," so we're near the Canadian border. Don't always buy into what they say. I mean. If you have a kid and you're having trouble raising them, yes. Get some information or help from some other people, but don't always expect it to be 100% the right answer. Because your kid, just like theirs, is completely different in what works for them. Uh, I don't know what state that is yet. Not seeing anything here. Nope. Lake and sea. What's this sign say? Atlantic Brewing. Are we over here? And I got a lot of respect for people growing, growing up their kids. It's a 
dumb fucking thing to say. Camden. Ah, uh, this isn't helping it. There's some flags here. But they always say when I'm listening to them with the kids in the background, just always being like the kids screaming, crying, fighting with each other. This may be New Hampshire. That might be the don't tread on me flag. So I think I'm going to go with New Hampshire and uh, go from there. But if you're trying to be like the, the, the line you say after you hear kids, the kids screaming, having a fit, being like, I can't wait for you to have kids. It's it's not a very good uh, marketing campaign for you to be Bar Harbor. Wait, that's Maine, isn't it? Fuck Bar Harbor. I think it's down here. I'm gonna click like here. It might be Maine's Bar Harbor. That definitely sounds like. I'm not seeing it here. Fun fact: If you're not from the U.S., Maine is the only state that barters one other state. That's in the lower 48. I mean, you can kind of call it... Well, actually, no, because Alaska borders no other state. So you can't use that as a uh, point of reference, but... Where was I going? I was complaining about kids. I shouldn't be complaining about kids. I got a lot... It's, I sit there and think about, maybe I should have some kids, but then... There, there, there needs to be a time where, like, all right, yeah, I'll have kids, but then, like, let me... Freeze myself for the first, I don't know, six years. And wake me up out of the trance when the... Unable to sleep during the night, screaming because... Babies have a need and they have no other way to communicate it other than just screaming at you. Need. And you're just like, baby, I can't communicate with you. Screaming is not helping, it's just making me frustrated. My brain's being like, fix problem, and I don't know how to fix problem. Baby is not... Explaining the difference. I don't know what this whale means. Does this whale mean you, you pooped your pants or you're hungry? I don't know, baby. You're not helping me. But. Then I also think about. There was a certain age you should probably. Pineal building. Is this going to be Maine and I'm going to just be off by the state here? Not Bar Harbor, but none of this is really. I got 10 seconds. Indian Point Road, that does not help me. These could be main license plates, and I'm going to find out in three seconds. Yeah, Bar Harbor was right there. God damn it. There's an, there's an argument you can make for the people who have kids way too, too young, and you're just like, Limerick uh, N69. Is that real? Are we... Is, is, look for the N69. Is there a Limerick here? For the for the people who have kids like when they're 18, yeah, it's real hard and tough when they're that age to be raising a kid, but also when you think there's the 67. And where's the 69? 67 disappeared. I think I've got the area zeroed in here. Really like badly bunnin. 67 just stop at the water there which makes me feel like it's got to be near a ferry but Limerick's not showing up anywhere here Kilmer Kilroosh Domore then but when you're 18 and you have a kid you're just like oh that's the worst time you just ruined your entire life that is fair but also if you look at the Quinlan anchor so where's Quinlan well, when you think about it also, they're getting out of the way early. If you wait until you're like 35 or 40 to have the kid, kid's 18, and then you, uh, I gotta stop with the lip smack. It's driving me nuts a little bit. And then you stop with the, uh, having the kid at 40. Hey, your kid's 18, you're 58. He's 21, you're 61. But then when they leave, like when they've, are old enough to leave the, the house, the N67. So, yeah, N67 is there. N59. It looked like I'm kind of in the right area, perhaps. Makes me feel like... Where the hell is Bally Bunnin? I don't see any others here, but I feel like this is this is it. Maybe I'll put me there. 
But when you're 18 and you have the kid, hey, the kid's 18, you've got, like, your entire, most of your life pretty much ahead of you, so you kind of got, I don't want to say it, call it, quote-unquote, the bad time out of the way in 69. But you planned for, so 67? Am I seeing, am I making up number? Because the 69 is there. And the N22. I don't know. So you could also say, yeah, it's kind of shitty. I got it out of the, uh, I had a kid when I was 18. But hey, when you're having your kid at 35, my kid's pretty much already out. So I plan for the rest of my life. And I can hang out and do stuff with my adult child. Not saying that. One of the whole reasons to have a kid is to get drunk with your kid when they're older. I'm just saying, when you're an adult, you have more time to spend with child when they're an adult. When you're an adult, instead of waiting too long. And you also have that, um... It's, this is a bad way to describe it, but like, elasticity to your ability not to sleep. Because, Christ, now I... The, the, sleeping's like the most cherished thing in the whole freaking world. And if you have a kid when you're like... 30, 35, and you, you're having a hard time sleeping as it is, the only thing that's going to compound that issue is screaming baby at night, and you're just like, God damn it, baby, be quiet, I want to sleep, and baby doesn't give a shit because it's a baby. I'm going to put us, like, right here. Maybe here. See how close I am. And that's my dissertation on why you should have a kid when you're in high school. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, I was, I pretty much freaking, pretty much nailed it. That's the first time I think I've got an Ireland guess right. But that's as close to 5,000 as I could get, I think. I should have gave that more stars, but I didn't. This area is potentially not Russia, which gives me a saint. Uh, no, this is uh, Cure Sockle Barn Lacquer. Uh, danger badgers with jackets. I'm not saying that. Well, obviously, you should not take what you hear what what you hear somebody say on YouTube as gospel because you don't need a uh, degree to talk to have a YouTube video. But uh, it, it was just a thought I've had of being like, how much do you value the potential time to spend with kid when they've grown up and you know, been successful in their life in whatever sense of the word successful or whatever it means to you as an adult, they would have a chance of doing that too and you could experience it. Whereas, hey, uh, dad, I'm about to graduate college. Oh, that's great, son. Hold on. I'm going to have a heart attack and die because I'm 60-something and I have a higher chance of it instead of me having my kid when I was 18. This is a dumb argument, but I don't know. It compelled me to think about it more when I when I was at work. Why do I want to say this is Greenland? I have no reason to say this is Greenland other than I've not had a Greenland guess yet and I feel like I'd want one. I'm just looking for a sign that'll tell me tell me some stuff. And I don't think I'm finding it as we uh, absorb this fiat into us. The singularity of the Google camera. What's this? Co-op pre. Not helpful. Still not seeing any definitive except for just Kjell Berkness. So I've seen Kjell twice. K-J-E-L-L. -L. I think it's Kjell. Uh, native whatever language this is. I almost feel like I've seen this building before. I have not. What my brain decides to keep on is memory is stupid and st stupid. <laughs> But I'm a slave to my brain as much as you are to yours. So whatever it remembers, I have no control over. That's me washing my hands. E39. Um, let's look for a 39 anywhere. There's a 45. We got a minute 20. Am I going to find it anywhere? E18. 75. I need a 39. Can I get a better view? Well, Baron in Bergen? E39. This is in Germany. This can't... This this better not be Germany. My brain is dumb. Brain, stop doing this to me. I don't need this. 
So I have a very okay score, and I have a minute left. All right, let's let's not commit to anything just yet. But we are near water, so I am going to adjust where my click is, put us closer to water. Although last time it was up here, it's the E6, E10. No, it's just the E6 up here. Give me, get out of the way. Thank you. I need a flag. 30 seconds. Gas station. Give me a flag. You guys have some pretty cheap gas up here because Norway does make their own oil. But this whole area sells it by the liter instead of the gallon. So it's, I think mathematically, it really does just kind of pan out to the same price. Stat oil. I don't, that doesn't help me. This sign might. D39. All right. Well, I just hope that I'm close enough. I kind of wasn't. E39 is right there. All right. So we were on the Atlantic coast of Norway. I felt like in the last second of just jerking the click over to here, but I didn't because I didn't. But, oh my God, I did get over 20,000. And mainly because I had to do with places I could understand and read pretty well. And it wasn't Russia or Brazil. But, hey, great. I didn't get a C this time. Dad would have been proud. And I hope you were proud, too. But, um, anyway, if you liked... I'm sorry with the lip smack. I gotta stop that. I, it, it's just like this tick I picked up now, and I really wish I didn't have it. But if you like what you all saw or had any comments about anything I babbled on about in this video, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Uh, tell your friends. I don't think my idea on having kids at 18 was a better idea than being older, because... I don't think that was, I mean, maybe it's not socially acceptably sound or proud and maybe you really shouldn't follow it. But anyway, I thank you all for watching and come back. Well, actually watch your stuff tomorrow with the, uh, uh, Uncharted series we got going. But if you don't watch it, we understand, but we do thank you for watching and we will see you next time, folks. Have a good day.